Tsunami is the main character and protagonist of the novel Wings of Fire, The Lost Air. She's a sea wing, an aquatic dragon tribe that resides in the oceans of the fictional content Priria. I will be drawing her based on the descriptions of her from the book only, and the sea wing illustration in the book as well. The descriptions of her in the novel are not very plentiful, so I cheated by copy-pasting her description from the Wikipedia page instead. Tsunami has dark, deep, royal blue scales like sapphires that have pale, emerald green flecks underneath them. She has sharp white teeth, blue talons, a long neck and tail, and large translucent green eyes. She has azure blue wings, the color of the sea, that have starbursts shaped like web talons underneath them. She is tall with a sleek, elegant form. One of her wings has a cut near the edge, which doesn't happen in this book, and she has a strong, powerful tail. She also wears several strands of pearls, including a beautiful long strand of shimmering pale purple pearls draped around her neck, as well as one wrapped around her chest and wings. Wings of Fire is a novel series by Tui T. Sutherland that involves dragons fulfilling a prophecy to end the war. I will be summarizing the second book in the series, as well as the first, with bits of background information for people who have never read the series. Three Sandwing sisters, Blister, Burn, and Blaze, are fighting over the throne after the death of their mother. They created alliances with the other dragon tribes to help them in succeeding the throne. A prophecy called the Dragonette Prophecy states that five dragonettes, a Seawing, Nightwing, Skywing, Mudwing, and Sandwing, will end the war by choosing one of these queens to rule. All five eggs were stolen across the continent of Pyria in order to fulfill the prophecy. Since they hatched, their existence has been a closely guarded secret by the Talons of Peace, a group in charge of making sure the prophecy is fulfilled, no matter the cost. In the first book, the five dragonettes escaped from the Talons of Peace and were captured by the Skywing Queen Scarlet, thus starting their long journey to save the continent Pyria. They made a hasty escape from Scarlet's arena and traveled far to try and find the Seawing Dragonette, Tsunami's parents. Tsunami learns that her egg was stolen from the royal hatchery of the Sea Wings, making her an heir to the Sea Wing throne. The dragonettes are led to the Summer Palace by a Sea Wing named Riptide. Tsunami's mother, Queen Coral, is overjoyed to see that her lost daughter has returned and welcomes her with open arms. Tsunami realizes that she's not quite at home when she is suspicious of someone trying to murder her and the other female heirs to the throne, including breaking into the royal hatchery and breaking the eggs that are kept there. Tsunami tries to convict any prime suspects, but to no avail. There is only one last royal egg in the hatchery that Tsunami swears to protect. She stays the night in the royal hatchery to try and catch the murderer, but it turns out the large statue of a previous suing heir was the one killing all the eggs in the hatchery. It was enchanted by Queen Coral's first daughter, who tried to fight her mother for the throne. Tsunami eventually leaves the Summer Palace with her friends to continue the prophecy. Wings of Fire, The Lost Air is a very enjoyable book that kept me on the edge of my seat for the entire read-through. It has good dialogue and decent descriptions, as well as a large cast of characters that are all equally unique. Tsunami really grows as a character in this book, which is a change from the first book which just felt like things were happening for no reason. I recommend this book to kids of all ages who enjoy fantasy, adventure, and obviously dragons.